Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Impossible Mission on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum, released by US Gold in 1986. This game was ported to absolutely everything. This game was ported to, well, this, the Spectrum, the Acon Electron, the BBC, Amstrad, uh, Master System, Atari 7800, and Apple II. And obviously it was originally on the Commodore 64, it's considered an absolute classic, one of the first games to have sampled speech, I believe, on that machine. And one of the, considered one of the best games on that machine, because it's kind of a platformer adventure game. And yeah, it was released by Epics in 1984, who were a phenomenally successful software house uh, in North America. There is a sequel to it. I don't know how that fares. I will get around to playing it at some point. I've never played this, so I thought I would play the Spectrum version, because I have a massive amount of nostalgia for it, because I got it as a cover tape game uh, on the front of, and it wasn't one of the usual suspects, so I want to say it was Edge magazine, which would have been very weird for that. But I was very eager to play it because I was aware of what big deal it was on the Commodore 64. And do remember the adverts for the uh, Epics, the ports of the Epics games from the 64 on the ZX Spectrum by US Gold in the magazines back in the day because they had this kind of neon effect on a black background and looked absolutely phenomenal so <clears throat> gameplay is you're a secret agent see what they did with the title there i think you do and you have to stop an evil genius professor professor sean connery there see what he did there professor Ath elvis atombender because of course that's his real surname and he's fucking around with national security computers so you have to race against time you have six hours uh, to reassemble and decrypt the passwords to his control room while avoiding like robots and stuff, well only robots, they can shoot electric beams out of you, uh, out, at you, not out of you, <clears throat> and searching um, furniture for, man this guy's got a hard on for Ikea, searching furniture for passwords to disable the robots and reset lifts and stuff like that. Quite a big game, I absolutely suck at it, and because uh, there are adventure elements, I'll try and explain it or show it to you, but I never really knew what to do as a kid, but did play a lot because as I said, the fact that it was such a big deal on the Commodore 64 and its amazing box art, and it was free on the front of a magazine. Um, now, you have six hours of time uh, to collect 36 different puzzle pieces. Every time you get hit, you lose 10 minutes of that time. So you don't actually have life or energy as such. Uh, well, you could argue that time is life and energy. Uh, the puzzle pieces are... Just drop my control pad. Good start there, Dave. Have to play it on the pad, not the keyboard, which annoys me because my keyboard's broken. Space, I'm looking at you. And also, game, why won't you let me define my keys in 1986? Um, anyway, so yeah, the puzzle pieces overlap, so three pieces can be assembled before the player realizes he must start over. Like I said, no idea. Generally considered to be the weakest of the versions, but for some reason is ranked 28th in New York Sinclair's list of greatest games of all time. So I'll try and show you a bit, but again, even as an adult, I got less of Scooby what to do than I did as a kid. Uh, right, so, <clears throat> two, Kempston. There we go. 48k only, so the sound is very, very basic. Uh, no sample speech, I'm afraid. And obviously, I apologise for the background noise, but it's rush hour, 6 o'clock in the morning, so sorry. Right, zero start game. Right, so here we go. This is, well, look. Iconic. That stance. Bidding, boom, bidding, boom, and then oh, I press down. Hang on, let's go back up. Let's do this methodically. And if I press fire, I flip. If I press up, which you can't now because there's nothing in this room, because I've got a HUD at the bottom of the screen, the green area will draw the map in in uh, real time. You can't go any further up. Let's see if we can get some more in. Which in itself is quite impressive. There would be sample speech right at the start there. See, look. That's kind of cool. Now, to the left of that, apparently it's 1986 and we've just... Ooh, this is a totally deep hole. Point for the quote. Um, we've invented the mobile phone. Unless that's not what this is. To the right, we have a keypad, which I have no idea what it does apart from one button. We're going to go to the first screen because 
Why not? Be methodical, Dave. It's not terrible graphics. Obviously, the Commodore poops all over as it does in the sound department. Press fire when I'm not moving. Got this hand and stuff. What does this do over here? Oh, that's the three pieces of the puzzle that overlap. So that's what that is. Can't make any calls. Probably because I'm on the grind and we've got no uh, service. I mean, fuck it. We're like 40 plus years away from 5G. <laughs> so this. Uh, no image selected. No image selected. This is moving around uh, and manipulating your images, I guess, which I get, think you'd get from searching for stuff. Uh, I do know what this one is. Pause. Look, see, can't move, unpause, can move. Figure that out all by myself. Uh, go up. No. <clears throat> How do I get out of this? I don't know. Good start there, Dave. Got to be an exit. There we go. <laughs> that button's exit. I know two buttons. Right. HUD disappears. Now we're in our first screen. This is what you do. You search... Well, this is a terminal, so... Temporary disable robots in this room. Reset uh, lifting platforms. Reset lifts, I think it means. Platforms in this room. Look. Password required. Password required. Log off. Right. So, you got to time your jump. Because, look. See, this guy's seriously... Got a woody for Ikea. Now, <clears throat> there is an interesting mechanic with that. Because... See, we go down here, right, then press up, oh, run, and then and up. You've got to be very specifically in the right place on the lift. See, look, searching, searching, searching. When I disappear, it, re you know, it doesn't reset, otherwise it would be friggin' impossible. So that's cool. 30-odd bloody screens into the game, would I still find that cool? I do not know. <clears throat> like I said, it's not terrible graphics. I mean, in 1986, we could do a lot better than this. I'm assuming it was a rush port. Look, so we go. Nothing here. Jump. Oh, shit. It's got to be very specific. We jumped as well. So, you got to do that for all these screens. Can we go down now? Oh, no, we have to go. Oh, look, see? You have to be... You can see the top and the bottom of the elevator. Lift, if you will. Which gives you the option. Oh, that was lucky. If you're on top of it, you can't do anything about it. You have to be in between it to it to function properly as a lift. I don't know why. I, again, I'm, I'm not in a specific enough place on the elevator. I'm going to just rotate lift with elevator because why not? To trigger it, you got... I think you'll be against the wall. Ooh. I don't know. I can't, I can't use this lift. There we go. Has this reset? I think it reset. I think he took that guy's wallet. So you can see that this probably gets quite repetitive. Or maybe you love stuff like this. I don't know. Ooh, shake harder, boy. And you can see, does it say my time? Where does it say my time? Uh, I don't know. Bobby says it if I select one of those things, which I won't. Because I want to, I want, I want to bloody get that bookcase. Not as in I want to buy it, but it's quite an attractive bookcase though, isn't it? See if I can get right front of the uh, platform. It's where you got to be. That's where all the cool kids are at the front of the platform to trigger the lift. I want to reset some robots. I'm struggling this much with the first bloody screen. I do like to jump. That's very satisfying when you leap them. No! <clears throat> that was lucky. Clear my throat. Being a spy gives me a gaggy throat! Ooh! Nothing here. Because, of course. Let's have a look in the next bloody screen. Oh, look! I can see... We're going up now. We couldn't go up the first time. That this game... Could be very confusing and get you lost a lot. I wonder if a full map was ever published for it. I think this is one of the complaints. Oh shit, I heard about the Spectrum version. That the platforming was very specific. Look at that robot. Look at both of them. How did you get there? I better get a password or this is going to be a very, very, very short screen. Oh, there we go. Right, that's a piece. 
of the puzzle, I believe. Getting the specific lift to work. Oh, look, I can't because... Oh, have I fucked this up? I'm between lifts. That's an awkward phrase, isn't it? I'm between lifts. I should be able to go down, though, surely. Yeah. I can only keep going forward. Oh, no, can I go straight back to the top? There's a lot of thinking involved in this game, which means I'm screwed, done it? And also you've got to work out what lift goes where. Just because you're in between the top and the bottom platforms doesn't necessarily mean it goes where you want it to go. For example, this one wants to go nowhere. But does that mean I have to progress forward like this then? This one must go all the way up. God, I have no idea. Right, screw it, we're going forward. Oh, look, right, hang on, so, press this. Yeah, look, I got I got a bit of the uh, password or tapes or whatever it was, and that one gets me out. So, I mean, if you had this on the spectrum, I'd love to know what you think. I'd love to know what you think if you had this. I can get this one, look, um, on any of the versions. See, this one seems to me, it may not be considered one of the best versions, but it does seem to be quite, you know, playable. No, don't run forward. Keep going, keep going. Some music would have been nice. I mean, 1986, we are in 128k territory. What's that? Is that a password? Oh, no, I can go up when I'm on that. Right, disable robots. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that's something else. For sure. Right, so... No, it's not. No idea what that is. Surely um, someone can tell me. Nope. Oh, no, hang on. Again, we'll work out the lifts. This is going to get quite... Ooh, shake harder, boy. Yeah, this isn't going to happen. We're going back to the elevator. The elevator's your friend. So the map, then, um, it's got to be friggin' huge. Blue tunnel, not green tunnel, and a blue screen. I don't know what a password looks like. It doesn't mess around. Ooh, does it? Ooh! I get the feeling that this game balls hard. We're gonna go, we're gonna go another way. I can't recall seeing any tips or anything on it in Spectrum Mags and whether or not, you know, you can poke it. Pull up candy. I'm finding the position of myself on these lifts. Is he going to keep going? No, he's not. Really irritating. Like, it's so specific. Because, hey, that's what a password looks like. We're living the dream now. No, I can I can freeze these bastards. Whether or not I want to on that is it specific to the screen you're on? I don't know. Did it work? Yes. You're all my bitches now. Does it kill me? Ah no. So give me something else, just to make this a little bit more interesting for it. Yes, we got a second picture. Don't need to jump you. Up char. See that hole at the... No, I was going to say, see that hole at the bottom, but that let me move, right, so... Ah! I'm not really sure what that did. Uh, or whether I've actually manipulated it in any way. Because I don't know what the... Oh, I can change the colour! Oh, that makes things a bit more interesting. I can... it may... Actually, no, it makes things a bit more bloody complicated. Right, well... That button's my friend. The very early game, we're talking about the Commodore 64 version. You know, it's two years in after the launch of the system. What's this? Are we playing tic-tac-toe or whatever? I don't know. 
I don't think I'm supposed to be here. And we might have to reset. Awkward. No, nope, thank God. Oh, wait, yeah. I have no idea what's going on there. I thought it was War Games or something, but yeah. So it's two years into the life of the Commodore. This is obviously a little bit later, but there's a lot going on. No wonder I had no bloody clue what to do. This isn't going to happen, is it, as a kid? I've got no bloody clue what to do as an adult. Can I... Ooh! I'm a machine. Well, no, they're machines, but I didn't realise that that... Doesn't kill me. I want to get. How do I get down there? Do I have to go around about and come back? I don't know. Never said this was going to be a particularly interesting gameplay. Can't go any further down. Don't need to do that, do you, Dave? Oh, I was lucky. I thought he was going to fall straight back in from the top like Scooby-Doo or something. So yeah, this, there's a lot going on. Maybe I should have read the instructions properly and have more of a Scooby want to do. Yoink! I don't know what this bottom right corner it looks like a fuck-off big ZX Spectrum. And that pleases me greatly. There's not a massive amount of variation between everything, I'm not going to lie. Imagine disabling shit in this screen is paramount. Which doesn't help me, does it? Oh shit. Good to know though that, that you've got, you know, some leeway for not dying, you know, at least falling from heights and stuff like that. Now I'm assuming that Impossible almost said Mission Impossible. Um, impossible Mission 2 is basically more of the same. I've heard they've kind of up the ante a bit with adding more elements and stuff like that. This isn't going to happen, is it? Come on, Dave. Oh, look, there's a nice fireplace and a chair up there. Honestly, this guy... I hope this guy gets, like, reward points from my gear or something. He spent a lot of money there. I got deja vu. Yoink! Probably because I died very recently. That's the deja vu. Not having actually <clears throat> been here before. Ooh! Yeah. Should have sent in the Marines. Should have sent in Action Force or G.I. Joe or something. They were around in the early 80s. Uh-oh. Look, he knows I'm here. That's an interesting element, isn't it? Wow, this is getting hard really quickly. Go out this way. I swear to God I clipped him then, but I'm not complaining. Well, I think you get a rough feel for what the game is like. Hang on, where am I? There we go. We're in, we're in uh, territory unknown. Yeah, I think you get a rough feel for what the game is like. I'm not doing it any justice because I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. But... It's rather in depth, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, come on. You got no real way to judge. How far are you leaping? No, no, no. Right, the first one is. Oh, well, fuck it, we're going up. So yeah, uh, Impossible Mission on Sinclair's LX Spectrum, one of many versions, well, a game that I'm incredibly bad at, I am aware of that. I thought I could go down there, but I can't really. Can I get back on the platform though? No, we'll do that. There's got to be some stuff from one of these. There's no bloody machine for me to use it, and are there even any elevator elevators on here? Ah, well, yeah, so I apologize that I'm very bad at this, but if anyone knows exactly what you have to do, by all means, school me in the uh, uh, comments down below. But I had to play it because whether or not this is a good version, it seems all right. It just seems bloody hard, but that might be more on me than it. Oh, I can get out. No wonder you can fly. Oh, shit, I can't jump from there, though. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's considered an all-time classic.
just I am, well, just say apparently, no, obviously, I am rubbish at it. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think on any of the versions of this. Quite interested what the 7800 versions like. I'm going to have to fire that up. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.